So, what are we doing today? We are going to be building cards. More specifically, we're going to be building uh, simple components that can be used for a card-based game. So we have a deck of cards, we have some code, we have Unity 5. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I've created some folders here for some of our objects. Uh, the objects are like images, materials, prefabs, scenes, scripts, that kind of thing. Um, you can organize your, your folders as, as you want to, uh, but this is how I'm going to organize them for this particular project. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, bring in a card deck. Now the card deck I've chosen, uh, I got from the web, um, and I'll, I'll put accreditation down in the, the notes there, uh, is a 72 pixel by 100 pixel uh, card deck. So I, all I need to do is I drag it and drop it into our images folder. Close this. Uh, when I open the images folder, we'll see that we have the, the card image in here. Now, if I click the little uh, twisty there uh, to show that what images are contained within there, it just shows me one image. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to split that into the separate images for the, the tile. So if we go over to our inspector here, we can see that it's actually just marked as being a single image. So if we change that to multiple, uh, we're also going to change the pixels per unit. Now, remember I said it was 72 pixels across. So we're going to make sure that the our card is as wide as one unit. So this is one unit, as I'm showing you here uh, in Unity. That's one unit. Oops. Uh, sure. Clicked the wrong thing there. Okay. So <laughs> uh, I haven't done anything yet, but it's, uh, it wanted me to apply that. So um, we can uncheck this as well, so because uh, we're not going to use maps for it. So it's multiple, but we also need to change that to our 72, like I just said. Uh, and then we go into our sprite editor. Now you see that this is just one big massive image. So what we're going to do is click on our slice drop down here. We're going to choose this to grid. And we're going to make sure that our grid is 72 uh, by 100 and that it is set to be the top left. So when we click on slice, you see that every image now, every card is now a separate image. So make sure you click on apply, or else it will shout at you like it just did me there, and then close that window. So now when we click on our card deck here, you'll see that it's now full of images. Which is great. Okay, so if we go to uh, our hierarchy here, this is what the scene contains. So we're going to create a new object in the scene, and a new object is a 2D object and it's a sprite. So I don't know why it created it underneath the camera there, just drag it up there. So we're going to call this new sprite card. You can also rename it over here as well. Again, for those not familiar with uh, Unity, so you can call it card over here. Now you see that it doesn't contain a sprite. So right now it says none. So we can click on uh, the target there, and we can choose what sprite to attach to it. Or we can drag and drop across, or whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to, to choose uh, the card here. So I'm going to choose the card back, and then I'm going to close it here. So now our card, if I zoom in on it, uh, is now uh, shown on our view and it should be part of the, actually it's way, 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 way in the middle of nowhere for some odd reason. I don't know why it's way over in the middle of nowhere, but never mind. Uh, we don't really need uh, it to be there now. Okay. So that's our card. Um, it's going to Z0 either. There you go. That's it. Uh, we're just going to zero these in. Okay. So, perfect. Everything is sitting in there. Actually, I've made a mistake here. Ah, okay. So, uh, this is what I was saying about the, the difference between uh, pixels per unit. So, right now it says pixels per unit was 100. Uh, you see that the height of the card is uh, 100 pixels now because that fits inside one unit. Well, we actually want it to be 72 pixels per unit. 
So when we change this to 72 and then click on apply, you see that now we get the, the actual size. This is the size that I wanted. So one unit is 72 pixels. Now this applies for all the images in there. This is just for the, the tile sheet that we just did. So what I did was I selected the, the image, clicked on 72 and then clicked on apply down there. Anyway, back to the card. So now we have our card here. Uh, there's just one more thing I want to do. Uh, I want to create an, a material here. Um, and I just want to create it uh, called Preserve uh, Edges. Now, I don't really want to change anything to do with this material, but all I want to do is I want to drag that and I want to drop it on the material here. Now you notice that it, it turned dark. That's okay, we're going to fix that in a second. Uh, so we're going to change the shader that it uses and we're going to change that to default. And the cool thing about this is that we are now going to change that to pixel snap. Now I don't know if you can see it, but it, there is a very, very subtle difference when we change uh, it from uh, non-pixel snap to pixel snap. This, if you have pixel snap on, it stops artifacting around the edges of the card. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Next time we're going to add a uh, script component. Uh, we're going to get some animation in there and we're going to start flipping the card and changing the images on there. So thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.